welcome to another video with Ulrich. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be about how to add a subdomain to your ClickFunnels account. So basically, what is a subdomain? A subdomain is anything that comes before the actual domain name. Uh, for example, you have here app.clickfunnels.com and you, you come here, you have drive.google.com is, is, you know, drive is a subdomain. And usually the reason why we use a subdomain, we use subdomains is because we, our main domain name is already occupied elsewhere. And because we can't have the same domain name on, uh, on many websites online, therefore we need to create a subdomain to keep the same, to keep the actual domain name alive. And the, the other reason why we use subdomains is because, uh, we necessarily don't want to buy another domain name uh and we keep and you know we want to use the same domain so let's dive straight in you go to your click account go to your account settings once your account settings shows down to domains and on domains you add new domain on this specific page click gives us two options so the first option is to register a brand new domain so that basically means we we need to buy a new domain name from click and the second one will be to add our own domain but in this specific case we are adding our own domain so here we're going to get rid of the ww and we're going to add our subdomain so our subdomain here will be contact dot your equipment equipments.com is the is my actual uh, domain name so contact dot your equipments.com and add so we will have to point our domain name to target.clickfunnels.com and we go back to where we bought our initial domain name so i bought my domain name from godaddy because i like to buy my domain names from godaddy uh, but it doesn't mean you have to buy a domain name from godaddy there's so many domain names uh, providers out there uh, but for this specific illustration i'm going to use godaddy um uh, so the domain name I want to use is called yourequipments.com, which is this one. I'm going to click on that. And once I'm on yourequipments.com, I need to manage sons. Or manage sons. Oh, yourequipments.com, manage son, search for my domain name. Okay, so we have the zones record here type a and so on what we're interested about is the c name record and i'm going to add another c name record we already have two c names here but it's uh, associated to shopify so we don't need to worry about that one and my host will be contact and i'm pointing to clickfunnels.com copy this always copy this don't it's better to copy instead of typing because you might make a mistake and you can't have any typo error here you always need to have the exact detail don't don't mess around with this space so once i have that i'll now click on save it's saved go back to click for notes click on i've done steps good job contact.youequipments.com is connected and ready to use okay you can see now i've done it absolutely fine so once we've done this specific step we need to go to go back to account settings there are a few details we need to, to uh there are a few details we need to improve there and once we're on, on account settings we click on domains And here we are on domain. So contact.youequipment.com. 
edit we're going to set up our default page uh for this domain on website opt-in and i'm going to save it 404 error page i'm not going to worry about this one D domain forwarding i'm not going to worry about this one edit zone record i'm not going to worry about that ssl that's that's the, that's my main concern i'm going to add an ssl to this domain so i have now added an ssl it says it will take 10 to 15 minutes to verify for the setup to be completed so now that i have done i need to go to funnels and link up this domain name with my um with one of my websites or landing page so i will i'm deciding to link it up to the perfect home page website so here i am i click on common settings so at the moment i it's not linked up to it and i need to link it up there so contact dot your equipment dot com uh head tracking code body tracking don't need to worry about that i will come to save and update save and update settings so everything is now done that's how you add a subdomain to your ClickFunnels account. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this content was instrumental to you. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below. If you also think I've left anything, drop me a comment or a message. I'll be more than ready to answer. Like, share, and subscribe to this content. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.